It is with great pride that I introduce to you my husband and the next city councilor at large, Philip Trotter. My wife, love you so much. Uh, thank you for that. Before I begin, I just want to take a minute to thank everybody who helped me collect signatures, and a lot of you guys are here. Uh, we ended up with close to 2,200 signatures, and um, and I couldn't have done it without your help getting on the ballot. So before anything else, I just want to thank everybody here who collected signatures. Yay. Um, so thank you all for coming. It is truly uh, an honor and humbling for me to be here and to have, to have all of you support my campaign and support me. Uh, tonight we're in a room that started a lot of political campaigns and I'm very privileged to join a long list of, of North Enders that aspire to make Boston and the Commonwealth and the country a better place. Um, as I look around the room I see a lot of old friends and I see a lot of uh, new, new faces, um, people who have helped me make, helped make me the person I am and I'm so grateful for everybody here um, and without you this wouldn't be possible. From the, from the time I was a kid my parents always taught my siblings and I to give back to the community however we could. My father came to this country from Italy as Kelly said and uh, when he was 16. He arrived in East Boston and didn't have the luxury of going to school because his family needed him to go right to work. He lied about his age to get a job in construction and at night he would work in restaurants. And within a few years he was able to buy a building in the North End. He renovated it himself and opened the cheese. Through his restaurant and his hard work he was able to achieve the American dream and was able to give back to the community and the country that fostered his success whether it was by helping someone, someone down on their luck with a job, or hot dish of food, or helping a community, uh, a community group throw a fundraiser. He was always ready to give back. My mother uh, was also very civically engaged. She taught us how to create change, the change that we wanted to see. She served in local government and was successful, so, uh, and was successful in fighting the closing of our elementary school when I was a kid. When I was diagnosed with a brain tumor when I was 18, she raised over $60,000 for a Mass General Brain Tumor Center so that other families wouldn't have to face the same kind of cho choices that we did. In, um, so, she... My uncle Donato uh, is the founder of the Taste of the North End. In the last 20 years since he started, he's raised over a million dollars for local charities. Um, my sister, Daniela, is a teacher here at the North End. Sister Jessica is a law student um, working in the DA's office. And it's their example that, that serves as the inspiration for my campaign in Boston City Council. Um, I'm running because I want to serve my community. I want to bring a new generation's ideas to City Hall along with a small business person's discipline. I will fight for better schools, for more efficient, responsive, and transparent government. I will fight for the environment, for entrepreneurs, for everyday citizens working to make this city a better place. I will fight every day to make this city a cleaner, safer, better city, and I'm grateful to have all of you by my side. There's a, a kind of famous quotation from another Bostonian who, uh, who shares his birthday today, and it's meant a lot to me over the course of my life since I was little. Um, when President Kennedy set the bar for our nation to reach the moon, he said that this goal would stand to organize and measure the very best of our energies and skills, that it was a challenge that we were willing to accept, one we were unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win. And that is the mantra that I will be using during the next six months during this campaign. Uh, with you and your support and your help, we will win. And I thank you all for coming.